Hey guys, Alicia here and Rocky. Say hi, Rocky. And Bella's here somewhere too, if you hear strange noises. I just got back from Aldi. I have not been to Aldi in what seems like a very long time. I think it was August, to be honest, when we got back from our trip it was the last time that I went to Aldi. So I've been missing it. Aldi is probably my favorite store, to be totally honest. I like Sam's and all, but I like Aldi even better. You can't beat their prices. At least at our Aldi here, I get people saying that Aldi's expensive and I don't think it is at all compared to the other stores around here. But anyway, I was happy to get back. It wasn't that busy, which was also nice. But let me jump in and show you what I got. So starting back here, I got two bags of sweet potatoes. That is for my dog, Rocky's dog food. Here, these were on sale. They look good. So I picked up those. Pick up some mixed bell peppers. Got some bananas. And then here I got two bags of these pinata apples. These are really good. I haven't had them in a little bit because I haven't been to Aldi in a while. In fact, I don't think I've seen these pinata anywhere other than Aldi. But they're really good. They're a little bit, it says tropical twist, but they have a little bit of a sweet and tart flavor and that's my my preference when it comes to apples is a little mix of sweet and tart so i got two bags of those we've been kind of going through a lot of apples lately down here i got some different things for baking because i am sure i will be doing holiday baking got regular sugar powdered sugar brown sugar and some chopped pecans up in here this is kind of my uh, kiddo section of stuff that I got. I got him a bunch of different snacks for school. I was kind of running low. And Aldi is typically where I get his snacks just because they're cheaper and they're good. So got him some big bars, got these mint striped fudge cookies, which I probably should not have because I'm probably gonna end up eating some of them. They look really good. I haven't actually seen this specific cookie before. I don't know if it's new or just new to my Aldi, but it looked really good. And Aldi cookies, if you have not tried Aldi cookies, are very good. Again, for the price, you cannot beat it. I got him two boxes of chocolate chip granola bars. He really likes those. And then some of these fruit flavored snacks, mixed berry. And then I thought he might like these because he likes applesauce, just apple, strawberry, and apple peach and they're just little in pouches and then i got him two boxes of the clubhouse crackers these taste just like the name brand and he loves those and then these actually are not for him these are for my hubby and i although he'll eat them too these thin wheat reduced fat crackers taste just like wheat thins i cannot tell the difference it would be fun actually to uh kind of do a comparison on some of Aldi stuff versus name brand because a lot of it I cannot tell or a lot of times it tastes better too. So these are four points for a serving on WW. So I'd like to have those occasionally. Here we got two boxes of these original wheat crackers and these are for some goat cheese that I also picked up. Down here, got some honey ham, I'm gonna use that for ham and cheese sliders. We've been eating a lot of those lately. And then here, I know it looks crazy. I've got <laughs> six things of the uh, creamy pepper jack, I guess cheese wedges, I don't know what else to call these. Spreadable, yeah, spreadable cheese wedges. These I absolutely love and I have not been able to find them. Well, I don't think they had these the last time I was at Aldi, but I haven't been able to find the name brand pepper jack anywhere at any of my stores. And so I've just been buying the regular and I don't like it near as much as these. And the Laughing Cow, which is the name brand of these, I believe even the light ones are scanning two points a piece on Weight Watchers now, and they used to be one, and these are still scanning one point. So I grab six of them. If I need to freeze them, I will. I probably won't to be honest though, because I go through these so quick, but very, very good. Another thing that I loaded up on, because this is a hit and miss item with Aldi, is the 
turkey pepperoni. Now this used to be a point per serving. It is now two points, which is kind of a bummer, but it is really good if you haven't tried it and it's still worth two points. So I got four of those because again, half the time they don't have it. So I like to stock up when they do and it's good till May, so I'll get through it. And then these, I picked up some of these Sims Snack Stick Turkey Sausage. I've tried these before and they're pretty good. I prefer the old Wisconsin turkey sticks that I get at Sam's, but Sam's is no longer carrying those. I can't get them in store and I can't get them online. So I picked up these, I picked up four of these, and these are a point a piece on WW. Back here, I got two cans of fat-free refried beans. I use those in a lot of different recipes. Got two cans of sweet peas. One of these will be for my pea salad that I do every holiday. And um, got four cans of diced tomatoes. Getting a little low on my tomatoes. And the back here, I got a jar of creamy peanut butter and a jar of grape jelly. And both of those are for my son to take to school. They're doing a food drive. And every day or every couple days, they change the type of things that they want you to bring. And today and tomorrow, it is peanut butter and jelly. So I got those for him so he can take those tomorrow because I didn't have any on hand that was not opened already. Back here, a little naughty item, these double chocolate premium brownie mix. Obviously not Weight Watcher friendly, but I have been really craving brownies, so I figure I will just have these for my next cheat day, and I'm pretty sure my son will like them too. And if you guys are new to my channel or haven't heard me say before, I am on WW. I have been for the last almost two years now, but I do cheat days at least one a week. It's kind of turned into the weekends are cheat days for me since I hit my maintenance and have been in maintenance for a while now. But cheat days are just something that I do because it just makes it easier for me to stay on track the rest of the time. Now there's a lot of people that can't do that, like my hubby cannot do a cheat day. If he does a cheat day, then he is completely off the rails and it's not gonna work for him. But for me, it just really helps me to stay on track, so I do them. Um, let me know down below for any of you that are kind of on a healthy eating journey, whether it be Weight Watchers or whatever, if you do cheat days, because I know a lot of people just do not think that that works, but for me, it, it really does, so. Cheat day item right there. I'll have to hide them from my hubby though. Um, got my son some of these mini alphabet cookies. He really liked these. I got these last time, I think, when I was at Aldi. And then I also got him some graham crackers. And then back here, we were running low on cereal. And like the cookies, I absolutely love Aldi cereal. It is very good, just as good as a name brand, as far as I'm concerned. So I got some crispy rice. And then back there, got some crispy oats. And then over here, got two boxes of the cinnamon crunch squares. Here, got some tomato ketchup. Now this is another thing that if you like Heinz ketchup, I think this tastes almost exactly like Heinz ketchup. So I like to have that on hand. Here, got some pretzels for my son. I actually don't really like pretzels. I uh, got some tortilla chips for him. And I got these for my hubby and I. I don't know what the points are on them. I haven't run them yet, but usually these kind, like the multi-grain, are a little bit better or lower in points. Oh, and then back here, before I forget it, got some white cheddar puffs for my son. Got some Parmesan cheese. I like to just have that on hand because I use it on a lot of different things. Got some bacon. We'll probably take that next time we go camping. Here, I got some turkey polska kielbasa. This is my favorite turkey polska kielbasa. And it's also probably the lowest point kielbasa that I've found. So I picked up a couple of those. I have several recipes or several different ways I like to use this. So I like to have that on hand. Here is another kind of naughty item. So I'll fit this into one of my cheat days one way or another. This goat cheese blueberry vanilla is so, so good. Every time I buy this and I show it in a haul, I talk about how good it is, but it is. It's very, very good. It almost tastes like cheesecake or something. So I got these, two of them, to go with these crackers. 
My hubby's probably not gonna be happy with me that I got those because he said those derailed him last time. So I might have to hide those from him too. I've um, got two of these cream cheese for some baking I'm gonna be doing. Got some Swiss cheese in a block and then some sliced Swiss cheese. Got some original almond milk. And then down here I got hot dog buns. Some bagels, those are for my son, unless I get into them. Um, got him some whole wheat bread, and then got us two of our favorite bread, which is the Fit and Active multi-grain bread, and it is 45 calories. Now this unfortunately has gone up in points too. It used to be a point a slice, it is now two. So kind of some adjustment to the different point values with this new plan, but it's going okay. Um, Got two Hawaiian sweet rolls, and that's gonna be for ham and cheese sliders. Got my son some cream puffs, which again, this is another item that I will probably get into on a cheat day because I love these. I usually will share these with him, so that's probably what's gonna happen with those. And then here I got some hash browns. I like these in a soup that I do that is really, really good. Um, if I can remember where I showed that, I will link the video for that. Very good, and it is crock pot, crock pot soup, so it's really easy. And I've got two mixed veggie bags, and then a cauliflower rice. And then back here, I've been missing these. I love these frost. They're so good. Just sparkling water. I got the orange mango, and then grapefruit. Got 15 of those. And then I was so excited to see, I get excited about the dumbest things, I swear. Sprite, we have been out of Sprite here where I live for a very, very long time. Well, maybe not very long. It's probably only been like a month, but it seems long because I love zero Sprite. And I saw this today and it's not regular. It's uh, winter spice cranberry, but I also love cranberry flavored sodas, so. Got two of those. I probably actually should have gotten more. And then next to it, Aldi wine. I always say this too, Aldi has the best wine for how cheap it is. These are only $2.99 a bottle and they actually will go on sale for less than that, but really good wine. I'm not a wine connoisseur by any means, but as far as I'm concerned, very good wine. So I got four Moscato because my husband likes the sweet stuff. Got a sangria, and then back there, a uh, pinot. But $2.99 for all those, like I said, cannot beat that price for wine. So one more thing that I forgot to show, there might be more than just this, but I just saw this. Got two of these Andy's mints for my son. He loves these, they're probably one of his favorite candies. So that is everything, I think. My total today was 205.29. And I don't typically go over $200 when I go to Aldi, but again, it's been a while and I kind of stocked up on several different things. So still a pretty good price as far as I'm concerned for all this stuff. But that was my Aldi haul. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you as always for watching and we'll see you on the next one.